Hello, my name is Ali Rasa. And in this video I will address about the software piracy and things related to this issue such as what is this term and how are to use pirated softwares etc. So, first of all we will discuss about the term pirated softwares and what exactly are they? Basically, this term is related to make software cracks and selling it on very cheap prices or selling it for free which is the unauthorized reconstruction and distribution of licensed and copyrighted software and imposes high economical and commercial losses annually and is also considered as a drastic threat to the security of software systems. So, a question will be raised on your minds, why we cannot use pirated softwares, if they are free? The answer is that, as I have mentioned before, these software can be a threat to the security of the system because these crack version are generally come from a source which is unknown so how can you use a software which is not trustful and reliable so there is high chance they can be hackers because on daily basis peoples are caught into scams like these why people even use them software produced from legitimate sources are extremely expensive so Many students, researchers, and other folks, find themselves in hard situations due to expensive costs. They might need an expensive and highly specialized software title to study, in a particular program or progress with a research project. People who find themselves on tight budgets find it difficult or impossible to set aside enough money for the product. Some of them then turn to pirated software. It consists of any titles used outside the permission parameters provided by the manufacturer or distributor. That could mean using a cheaply made and illegally copied version. It could also entail using cracked software, which someone intentionally tweaked to make it behave in a way not intended by the maker. For example, a cracked version could let someone keep using it after the usual 30-day trial runs out. So, what is the solution? Solution is simple which is to buy every software from the legitimate firm, and the official company making that software. I recommend that do not even trust the third-party software, they can be threat to you also. Now let's talk about a Triple E Code of Ethics guide us about this issue. While reading the IEEE Code of Ethics, I have found a statement which states that, to avoid unlawful conduct in professional activities, and to reject bribery in all its forms. In this statement it is clear that if you want to a professional in any field you have to avoid any sort of illegitimate act which is harming the society whether it is bribery, thief, corruption and etc. So, in the light of this principle if you are using or making any pirated software then you are clearly violating a principle of IEEE code. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching.